Hi traders, welcome to my Forex video tutorial. In this tutorial today, we'll be going through this Forex trend trading strategy that I'm using. And basically the whole idea right, of this strategy is to write the trend profits. Okay, if you guys have been reading up Forex books or taking up any Forex course, you should have heard of the phrase, the trend is your friend. Okay, so basically as a trader, it's best to write the trend to profit than trading against the trend. Okay, so therefore the whole idea of this strategy right, is to enter a trade on the retracement of the price. Okay, so let's go through the indicators that we need. First, you need the 200 EMA, okay, which is the 200 exponential moving average, not the simple moving average. Okay, you need the Fibonacci indicators, you need the stochastic indicators. Okay, for the stochastic indicator, you just have set the default setting of 533, okay, and that will do. So let's go through the steps, right, to trade this uh, strategy. Okay, I call this the buy the dips and sell the rally strategy. Okay, so why, why, why we call this the buy the dips? Basically, if you are in an uptrend, right, okay, in a strong uptrend, the price will retrace. As it comes down, right, you'll buy the dips. Every time as it retrace, you'll buy the dips and then profit from it. If you're in a downtrend, what you do is do, when the price retrace, you sell the rally. You see that? You sell the rally. Okay, and this is basically the whole idea of this strategy. So, I've listed down the four steps for you to follow and you can just try out on your trading chart and see if it works for you. Okay, step one, what we do is to identify the trend of the market. Okay, and this is done using 200 EMA. So, let's take a look at this picture here. You can see this black color line here, right, is the 200 EMA. Okay, when 200 EMA, right, is uh, sloping in a good, uh, with a good angle in a particular direction, it's telling you that it's in a strong trend. In this case, you can see it's sloping downwards in a, in a uh, steep gradient. So basically, it's in a strong downtrend. If it's tipping upwards, sloping upwards, right? Okay, with a good gradient, it's actually an uptrend. If you see the 200 EMA, right, pretty flat, and you know that this is actually in a state of consolidation, and therefore there's no trend, and this strategy basically don't work. When there's no trend, this strategy don't work. What you need to do is wait for the 200 EMA to be sloping in a particular direction, and this strategy, you can start to apply this strategy. Okay? So, so what we do, right, when, once we identify the trend of the market, we wait for the price to retrace and hit the Fibonacci level. Okay, the best will be the Fibonacci 0 0.382, 0 0.5, and 0 0.618. These are very strong support and resistance level. Okay, so once the price hit the a Fibonacci level, right, what you do is to go to a stochastic indicator to check whether they are overbought or oversold. So what do I mean by overbought or oversold? So let's take a look at here. You can see here? Okay, the stochastic indicator, right, comes with a 20 and 80 line. Okay, the 20 level, right, means that anything lower than that is a sign of oversold. Anything higher than 80, right, is a sign of overbought. You can see when the price move down, move down, the stochastic move down, you can see that it gets into the region of oversold. It will usually bounce up. You can see the price bounce up again. Okay, and you can see that when it gets overbought, Okay, it's very likely to move down. You can see that? Start to move up a little bit, then it collapse. So basically, this uh, indicator helps us to tell whether the market is currently overbought or oversold. Okay, so what is the next step? So once you check the stochastic indicator for over or oversold, you will enter a trade. And at this point, you will always set a stop loss of 30 pips and a target profits of 90 pips. So with this strategy, right, you will always get a risk reward ratio of 1 is to 3, which is a very, very decent uh, risk reward ratio. Okay, so let's go through one example. Okay, can you take a look at this picture here? You can see that the 200 EMA is sloping upwards, telling us that it's an uptrend. You can see it's uptrend. Okay, so I draw a Fibonacci level. The price start to retrace, retrace, and hit the 0 0.618. At the time it hit the 0 0.618, I'll go to check my stochastic indicator. You can see that it's oversold, meaning the price is going to move up anytime. So at this point, I will enter a trade. You can see, indeed the price moved up, retrace again, and then move all the way up to make profits. So basically, the whole idea, right, of this strategy is first, you need to know what is the trend of the market. Second, plot a Fibonacci level, wait for the price to come back to test the level. Third, you check whether this, right, you check whether this is the stochastic indicator is overbought or oversold. If you are going to go long, going to buy. You must wait for the stochastic indicator to go oversold. 
if you're going to sell, right, you're going to sell, you must wait for stochastic indicator to go over board. Okay? And basically, the whole idea of this strategy is combined within these four steps. And I hope that you guys understand what I'm trying to tell you in this strategy here. Okay, for more indicator tips, right, and trading strategy, you can simply visit my blog at forexindicator.org. Okay, this blog is basically uh, written by me since 2009. Okay, and here I share a few of the indicators that I'm using and how I use them, and the forex strategy that I'm use using, I'm trading, and how to trade them. Basically, it comes with a forex FAQ session, whereby the subscriber of my free newsletter can ask me questions. So you just simply can subscribe to my newsletter here. Okay. There's currently about 6,000 subscribers and you can get to ask me questions and get to download my trading tutorials. Okay. And uh, I'll try to answer your questions twice a week. Okay. And basically, uh, I hope that you guys like this video tutorial and uh, hope that you can visit the blog and see if there's anything that will be of help to you. So for more trading tips, right, I'll talk to you soon.